All right, Brandon. Oops. Okay. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm recording this on my phone, so I don't know what the quality is going to be like. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I just uh, I finished painting your cockpit. Um, some of the detail parts you are going to have to paint, like this screen right here. You're going to have to paint black. And these buttons you got to paint whatever color you want. The headrest you're going to have to detail paint whatever color you want. But I figure you can hand paint that stuff. Your little monitors, little reflective screens, I thought were kind of neat. Um, you might have to detail paint those again, I don't know. I'll show you how to do it if you ever have to. Joysticks both work. Um, this thing slides out. Hold on. Um, cool. Slides out. Slides back in. Sorry, didn't really get much time to focus. Let's see. There we go. But uh, I I painted it silver leaf, made by Tamiya. If you ever have to buy the paint to repaint things, this is the paint that I used. That is the paint name, silver leaf. So I didn't airbrush anything because every time I kind of pre-shade it or make it look shaded, it just gets too dark, and I know you don't want it that dark, so um, I ended up using Tester's Dull Coat to flat coat it. Pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, let's see. Oops. <laughs> There's my Freya. <laughs> Not done yet, though. But, um, let's see, yeah. I ended up using the silver and the dull coat, so it kind of comes out a little bit lighter than the color it already was when you sent it to me, but it doesn't look like cheap plastic now. It actually looks like, you know, I suppose galvanized metal. But, um, hold on. Let me go ahead and put it together real quick oh, and show you some of the detail parts. <laughs> yeah, on the back here is a uh, where the wires lead into a hub. They spill down under here. Which I thought you'd think that's kind of cool. Ventilation and such. But yeah. Ran some wires here for the monitor. Both arms have wires running. To the joysticks. I know they could have hidden the wires underneath the, uh, the arms or inside the arms. But I don't think that would be as cool looking. But yeah. I thought you would really find that part neat. This part right here with the wires going in. But that was really cool. Alright. Yeah, both of those should be strong enough to withstand a little bit of rough handling. Right, let me go ahead and put it together, I guess now. Yeah again, I don't I don't know how I don't know how the lighting is gonna affect the color. As far as what you're seeing with my lighting, will be different when you see it in person. But, uh, yeah, it's really just a, a metallic flat-coated silver. I think you'll really, really like it though, when you get it, though. Some areas I could have smoothed out and could have filled a couple of gaps here and there that I haven't found yet. I'm sure there will be some. But if you want to, you can always fill them and then paint it again with the materials that I showed you. They should sell them at local hobby stores. So, um, yeah. I ran or I ran wires on all of the uh, the struts just so it looks like there's cabling going everywhere and adds a little bit of detail to it. All right, just another second. This is your complete sphere. Notice this still moves because those two little blocks in there that hold them on. I didn't glue it yet. I will tomorrow. But because uh, I, I really need to do that to ship it to you, I'm kind of scared that it's going to break while shipping. I'll make sure to pad it well, but even then, kind of scares me a little. Um, but yeah, and if you need me to, if you send me the cockpit shots that you have, and you send me the little videos that you want to put in those little monitors, I can do that for you with my final cut. It doesn't take me but a couple minutes. But uh, yeah, if you want to do shots, you know, like this or whatever, but you want to show little videos in there, let me know, and I can put them in there for you. 
long as you just give me the, the two videos, the one basic video of this, and then the videos of, that you want in the video. But yeah. I am afraid that this part and this bottom part down here, like right here that you see, I'm afraid those are going to snap off in shipping because they're, they're not really that strongly held on there. If they do though, just super glue them back on and they should do fine. But um, yeah, I'm going to do one more with Joshua in there. Now, it's not a perfect fit, mind you, but I think that really has more to do just with the G.I. Joe's range of motion on his legs. They don't quite go up high enough, like straight out, for uh, the angle to be perfect, but I think it'll look really good for filming. So, you know, you get your whatever angle you want to get in there. And since I used that Tamiya spray, that, that paint is like invincible. Um, not really, like you can scratch it off, but it's a lot stronger than other paints, so you taking on and off the support strut shouldn't be such a big deal, as long as you're careful. Um, I'll st I, I didn't make spare ones right yet, I do have them here, like up here. I do have your spare ones, but I will send those to you at a later time, because I know you want this and you want to get filming, and I really don't feel like painting those again tonight. And uh, I have some other projects I need to get to, namely my Freya! <laughs> but yeah, um, cool. Hopefully, uh, if you say, hopefully just say okay, and I'll ship it to you in the next couple days, and then we can just, you know, get this part of it over with, and you can start filming. But I'm really interested to see what it looks like when you're filming, and after you detail it up, you know, add your paint where you want it, like maybe on those panels behind him, or on his seat cover, or whatever you want. Alright, bro, well... Um, it should make it to you hopefully in time for your birthday, or our birthday. <laughs> yeah, I think that's odd that we were born in the same exact place at the same ex on the same day of the same year. Very strange, and we like the same things. But, alright homeboy, um, that's about it. Um, yeah, I know it looks gray, but in real life, it is a dull coated metallic you can still see a light sheen to it when you hold it under the right light my phone just doesn't have that kind of reception so or resolution sorry